All right, so a few things, guys, before we start this tutorial. I want to share some news with you guys. So there's going to be the Las Vegas Barber Expo. It's a collaboration with Jay Majors from CT Barber Expo. The Super Bowl Barber Expo. The last one had like 8,900 people show up. It's a collaboration between him and the money team. In Las Vegas, September 30th, bro. And my favorite part about it is I'm the headline educator for the show. So... I'm excited about it. Um, Get Beam's gonna be on stage as well. Um, trying to get Jeezy on board if 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 his schedule doesn't conflict with what's with the show. Um, but super excited. Getting some love from these expos, man. If you're in, if you're trying to go to an expo this year, you've been missing them. Las Vegas Barber Expo is the one to go to. I'm, I'm gonna try to make a vacation out of it because Vegas is dope. But I want to share that information with you guys. Also, a reminder: every Monday and Thursday. 9 a.m. there will be a video drop you can check anytime during that day monday or thursday to catch a video don't forget to subscribe smash the like button all right so this haircut tutorial i'm almost forcing a crop look on him um the length was nice not on the top but more so on the sides so it's gonna be like a really short crop look with a more um spread out blend something a little bit different than the crop that i did before with the piece with the accent piece i got a lot of uh mixed feelings um it's gonna be like a regular blend and uh not so much a crop but we're gonna cut the same way just a lot shorter so we'll start with our perimeter Well, well, this part is a little bit, you know, it's a little, it's not a lot of explaining needed. But I, I wanted to break down some things as far as tools go. When I do my 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 classes, my hands-on classes on the tours, you guys are making it really hard for yourselves to learn with the tools that you have. Your combs matter, guys. Your sis, guys, your, the, the quality of your scissors matter. Invest in that stuff. Because if you're using cheap stuff, and schools love to give cheap stuff, if you're using cheap stuff, you're just making your learning experience so much more difficult because, man, like, like there's techniques, there's things, there's, you know, there's different techniques that you can't accomplish if you don't have the right tools. Partings are much cleaner with the right comb. Tension is much better with the right comb. And a comb is cheap, guys. So go buy some decent combs. YS Parks. These combs in particular you can even get from Sally's. These are the Cricut Silk Combs. Get you some combs. Like we're even going to come out with 245 combs. Um, that's something that I'm, I'm definitely looking into. But I want it to be a quality comb. I want it to be able to, um, to stand with the best of the combs. So definitely taking our time with that. But 245 combs are definitely something I'm looking into. Because they're that important. Um, in, in a video that I did previously where I was showing razor work, somebody I do read comments, guys. Some somebody was somebody wrote in the comment section something about, um, you know, my scissor work needs needs work, and I didn't do enough razor work to really make a difference, guys. You can see a difference by the end of it. I don't show all of the razor work I I do. The idea is to show you guys a technique, but you have to do the razor work so you see the the result that you're looking for i just want to soften up the front soften up the sides a bit but i i'm not going to sit here and show you guys every single razor stroke obviously just because i don't want to bore you guys to death i want i want you guys to stay engaged with the video 
so now what i have on my my blow dryer there is a diffuser it's just easier to travel with they sell these at sally's too um but these are just easier to travel with and i'm using the diffuser and that's just helping me create more texture you can see the texture is really starting to come in now what i did put in the hair as well was indestructible clay i put indestructible clay before i started to uh to use a diffuser and I'm you know I'm just trying to teach you guys some style te styling techniques because a lot of people have styling products but if you don't know how to use them what's the point so the clay is, a, is great for a foundation it, it it helps with texture it makes hair look fuller look thicker because it, it, it adds an extra like layer to every hair strand and it expands when there's moisture that's why I, why I put the clay while it's um, wet damp um, because it expands up to six times when there's moisture because our clay has betonite clay in it so once you start blow drying it it adds a little bit of volume a little bit of fullness and some texture and and that's the result that you'll get in combination of the diffuser so now we're doing a number four on the sides we're just creating a, a base now we know we're just blending whatever we want to do on the sides we're just blending into a number four now All right, so on one side, I'm going to show you guys a taper, a quick taper. This is eventually going to be a full fade. I just want to show you guys a quick taper on there. This literally takes less than a minute each side. So I should have showed you guys in real time. but So bald, blade open. Then we'll close the clipper up and, and go up about a third of a, of, of a space until it's blended out. Then we have our number one guard. Then our half guard. And then the blade open again just to clean up that line then we'll do our number two that should blend into the sides and bring the one open into the two with the one and a half guard and that'll be your taper and here's the one and a half guard like i told you guys and again you can follow along with the color code on the bottom left corner you guys can see the blend the taper starting to come together okay after this you can do as much detail work as you want to to bring it next level as as i'm showing you here i'm doing some detail work but i'm not going to spend a lot of time on that we you know we skipped a lot of the detailing part i just wanted to show you guys how quickly you can create a taper and how you know once you know what the sides are number four you can do whatever you want on the sides all right so at this point we'll start the ball fade and we'll start with our initial guideline balding him out i dropped it a little bit towards the c cup area which is the arch um, the hairline arch okay just because I want to keep that a little bit dark now we have the blade open and we'll begin to blend that out it's closed and we'll open it gradually as we go up until that line is blended out next step is the one open then it'll be the one closed and you can use the half guard or the blade open to blend that out. All right, now we'll use our number two guard and that'll blend right into right into the four pretty much if you're using the shape of the guard enough just like we did with the taper and we'll bring the one open into the two with the one and a half guard guys I, I use the same techniques for every texture of hair the same system for every texture of hair trust the system hashtag trust the system hashtag consistency Like if you if you got a lot of guesswork throughout your throughout every single haircut you do, how can you ever stay consistent every haircut you do? And I'm not saying I'm perfect, no barber is. We're gonna have our bad days, but you can mitigate, you know, the risk of, of being inconsistent on a consistent basis, right? By actually putting together a system. That's business, guys. Businesses operate consistently with systems, and this system for me, it works with every texture of hair. 
I switched up to the Babyliss Gold FX and there is a review coming soon. I might even drop the review before I drop this video. Because I got videos in the chamber, guys. So make sure you subscribe. Make sure you have the notifications turned on because we're going to continue to bring more and more heat. So I used my number three um, just because I saw a little bit of bulk. And we know that the, the last guard was a four. So the three brought the two right into the four. And then we did some touch up with the number two guard. At this point, after after we do this, it's just going to be a whole bunch of, um, not a whole bunch, but it's, there's, we're going to do some detail work. And that's what's going to bring our fade to the next level. All right, so so now we're gonna start refining the 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 ridges with some scissor over comb, maybe some some thinning shears. Then we'll give them that the lineup, and the lineup will bring everything together. I'm also gonna show you guys um, some color enhancement techniques or whatever to bring this to the next level while still keeping it natural. Because I believe I believe color enhancement is great if you can keep it natural looking. All right, so now we'll start to line him up. And you'll see once we refine define this C cup, it's just gonna make the haircut come together, man. And I'm doing all this extra stuff, guys, because I am teaching a class. Like, YouTube videos are a compressed version of an hour and a half, you know, explanation of each haircut I do. I'm not saying it takes me an hour and a half. I'm saying, I'm saying, you know, to teach the class to explain it, because we even bring students up to to get hands on right away. But in the shop, this is a this is a 30 minute haircut. All right, now we'll start defining the, the other side. Man, that blend. Let me know in the comments, guys, what you think about the cut so far. It's a blurry, crappy, crappy toppy. And with the crops, I like to define the corners, but I don't want to mess with the with the fringe area. I want that to look soft and textured. All right, so now we'll start using some color enhancement. I'm using the airbrush. A little bit goes a long way, guys. I feel like that still looks natural. And I didn't put a bunch. It's still gonna stay stay in there three to five days. We'll tap it up in this in this area too, in this corner. But like, I don't know. I just feel I feel like that looks good it looks natural if you don't think that looks natural right there look at that if you don't think that looks natural right there please let me know in the comments but maybe I'm crazy maybe I'm seeing things but that looks natural to me and that made the cut just come just come together wow so we'll follow it up with the razor just to give it a just to get rid of some of that stub stubble and add some longevity to the haircut We'll do this side. And I, I mean, obviously it didn't need it, but your clients don't need a lineup either. They don't need a fade either. They don't need texture on the top either. It's just to create a look, man. Hair cutting is art, and this is a semi-permanent hair color. It's gonna last three to five days. When you do a lineup, that ain't a real lineup. That's a fake. That's a fake hairline when you line somebody up, and it only lasts three to five days. You ever thought about it that way? But yeah, I thought. I think. I think, man, it's not necessary, but it does make it pop. I ain't gonna lie, it make it pop. Like when I see Get Beam do it. They be making that thing pop. Jeezy do it, make it pop. S Craft blends, matte, gifted hands. I love seeing it, man. I don't hate on it whatsoever. So guys, that's I think that's the finished product. If you like it, please smash the like button. If you want to see more of my content, hit the subscribe button. 
um and make sure you hit that bell too just doing some last minute touch-ups thank you guys for watching